It is 8.30am on Tuesday the 19th of April. I've got a 90 minute drive ahead of me back to Perth where I'll finish packing and then I'll head to a meeting in my office at noon. Then there's a short trip to Perth Airport, a five hour flight to Singapore, a couple of hours on the ground, a nine hour flight to Frankfurt, a couple of hours on the ground. And my final flight is to Bologna and then it's a 45 minute drive to Imola. It's a fair amount of travel. I'm going Singapore Airlines business class and I haven't flown Singapore Airlines that much over the last year. I'm interested to see the difference in the two business class seats. All checked in and three boarding passes all the way through to Bologna. So at Perth Airport you have to wear a mask obviously. There's hardly any shops open. If you want a drink or a snack at the bar, forget it, that's closed. If you're looking for a burger, you won't find one here. This joint's closed, but if you're after sunglasses, you're in luck. Having passed through Immigration and Customs, I'm now airside. Very quiet in the airport today, but you can at least get uh, a snack and a drink here. There's plenty of duty free available. There's a news agency for books and magazines, etc. But that's pretty much it. Hello. Hello sir. Welcome to the Singapore Airlines Lounge. It's comfortable. There's some food and I've gone with the chicken satay and a bit of the pasta today. Well, the chicken satays, I'll give them a six out of 10. They were edible. The pasta, whilst it tasted all right, was nearly cold. And for your benefit only, I've tried a sausage roll and a small meat pie. The meat pie is lukewarm, and the sausage roll is not that much hotter, but both are tasty, especially if you drown them in sauce. There's also three or four wines and some beers, along with soft drinks and juices, and the staff call you when your flight's ready to board. I did mention to the crew that the pasta was cold, and they remedied the situation very quickly. Have a great Thank you. Day. Thank you. See ya. Hi, welcome, sir. Nice to have you. Nice to have you. Nice to have you. Thank you for flying. Hi. I'm sitting there. Oh, sorry. That's okay. Thank you. Well, this is a lovely aircraft. It's an A350-900. There's 40 business class seats, 200 in economy. It's not full. The staff are great. Beautiful seat. And I'm in 19A, which has this big leg area down here. If you get the seats behind, they don't have quite as wide a gap, which for a daytime flight is no problem. But if you're sleeping, you'll want that wider gap. So always go for the bulkhead seats. They're the first four in each of the two sections. time for dinner now and normally you'd get a, a paper menu but on board Singapore Airlines you go to the screen and you use the QR code and you get this menu that's on your phone and tonight I can have smoked salmon salad and there's a choice of main course there's braised beef cheek with crushed carrot and parsnips kung pao chicken with jasmine rice or soy and garlic roasted mushroom stuffed with goat's cheese and for dessert vanilla ice cream cheese and crackers or a selection of sliced fresh fruits and then after dinner the crew invited me up to the galley to show how they actually prepare a meal a great flight. Now it's a short train ride over to Terminal 3 and then off to Frankfurt. And just like Perth, there are a lot of shops that just aren't open at the moment. Turns out it was only one hour on the ground, so I went up to the Singapore Airlines Business Class Lounge and it was a joke. Couldn't find a seat and it reminded me of a very busy food court. So instead I went down and sat at the departure gate. Hi, good evening. Welcome aboard once again. Across, Across down on the seat. I'm on board now, it's an A380, except I have the worst seat in business class. It's the final row, it's on the side, so it's narrower. Look, it's still big, but don't get me wrong, it's very comfortable. I've been very lucky because one of the cabin crew found me a better seat. It's about eight rows further forward, and uh, it's a little bit wider, probably about nine centimetres wider and a better sleeping angle, so I'm not unhappy about that. And it's um, not a nine hour flight, it's actually 13. Hey, it's dinner time now, and uh, first up, salmon. I've already eaten it. Fantastic, with a great dressing. For main course, I selected the chicken, which was pretty darn good too. I, I mentioned that the last dessert was good, not great, but good. So one of the crews has gone and got me a first class dessert, some chocolatey tart, 
which I'm quite grateful for. Oh, and did you know that at the back of the business class section, there's a spiral staircase that goes downstairs to the economy seating. And this is the bathroom for the A380, it's nice. It even comes with a shaving mirror. There's a whole lot of amenities in here, including combs and toothbrushes and razors, although I don't know why you'd want to be shaving on a plane. We're 25 minutes away from landing and I might have a bit of a drama because we land at 5.2 the hour and my next flight boards at 10 past the hour and Frankfurt's a big airport. So I think this is going to be fairly rushed and I don't think I'm going to make it so that'll delay me getting to Bologna. On the ground in Frankfurt, 12 minutes to get to my next flight for boarding so possible but not confident. Okay, we're out of the plane now. Seven minutes to go. And I'm not sure where this next flight takes off from. And I don't know when the next flight would be to Bologna if they cancel me on this one. Surprisingly quick through customs. Got my uh, EU stamp in the passport. Now we're gonna find gate A50. Let's go. Security done, pretty quick time too. Now we've got to find a gate, A50. Please don't have gone. This is a crazy long distance to go. It's been at least a kilometre so far, and I think I'm getting within sight. Bologna, wow, what a trip. Thank you. boarding passes beep so I bet they're gonna say no you can't go because your luggage won't make it I bet okay so Singapore Airlines have cancelled me on this flight because I'm late but I'm here at the gate so I desperately want to go on this and I know my luggage is probably not gonna make it feel and done and on my gepack I cannot promise We've just been given the safety briefing and we're set to go to one hour flight. There are, uh, what do we got? Um, four rows of business, 16 people, and then I'm guessing probably 150 odd back there. That was a top effort. It's now 40 minutes past the hour and we land at five minutes to the hour and I had to go through, as you know, customs, security, at least a kilometer and a bit walk. And so now I'm on uh, this flight to Bologna in 3F. Not quite as salubrious as the last two flights, I know. Well, that was a traditional German breakfast of cold meat, so bread roll and some spreads and some other little dish, but my gosh, you want to have a look outside here. We're flying over the Alps. Plenty of snow and stuff that we don't see in Western Australia. This is Bologna and it's a beautiful day. Chilly, but nice. My luggage hasn't arrived, so that's going to be half a day to a day away, hopefully, but Better to be here without luggage than to be with my luggage back in Frankfurt. Ten minutes after leaving the airport I got a call from Lost Baggage saying my bag had actually arrived. So we turned around and headed straight back to the airport. How about that? It actually made it onto the flight and all I had to do was go and ring the buzzer and the lovely lady brought my luggage out to me, put it in this little ante room and uh, I picked it up once the door opened. Kim, I know you don't drink coffee, you don't drink tea, so I bought it for you, your Southern Comfort. Oh, you're very it's for good. You. And Coke. She's very good for, oh, and Coke. And Coke too, so you can drink as well. Well, I actually haven't been drinking much of late, but I'm gonna make an exception because it's been a very long journey <laughs> and this is very hard to get. Yes, I know, but I, yeah. it's not difficult for me. Right? So this is my beautiful apartment. I stayed here last year. It's two big rooms with magnificent ceilings, as you can see up here. And your socks. Did I leave those socks yes. here? I've been reunited with some socks that I left here a year ago. Isn't that lovely? It's such a, a lovely place and the view out here is great. Lovely people and best of all, the food is astounding. Having left Perth about 27 hours ago, I'm finally at my destination, the Imola Circuit just outside Bologna. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't done so, and you can join as a member for a whole host of extras that'll wow you. All of my digital images you'll find at ProStarPix.com for a range of merchandise, F1 photo books, and what's the other thing? 
wall art, head across to kimilman.com and for my best pictures live from the track and all during the week, you'll find them at Instagram, at Kim Illman. Thanks for watching and stay passionate. <laughs>